Merry jail time, Charlie Brown. The final numbers for Oprah and Lance Armstrong on OWN, they just don't add up. The ratings roundup, complete with cancellations and quasi-cancellations, plus our exclusive Hispanic media report. This is the TVnews.tv for Thursday, January 24th, 2013. I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington, and we begin with the strange case of Peter Robbins. Haven't heard of him? You know him better as the voice of Charlie Brown in the beloved holiday classics viewers have so enjoyed for nearly half a century. Well, he's been arrested in San Diego for multiple counts of stalking and issuing deadly threats. We can only opine, Charlie Brown is a blockhead, but he does have a really nice prison cell. Multiplication factor, carry the one. You know, we are reading the press release from OWN that says 12 million viewers showed up for both part one and part two of Lance Armstrong's The Confession. Now, part one delivered 4.3 million viewers. Remember that number. Part two cumed 2.4 million viewers. Now, I'm not a mathematician. I don't play one on TV, but that adds up to 6.7 million total viewers for the project. So how did OWN get to 12 million? Well, that's what like Talking Barbie used to say. That class is tough. Welcome to the TV News Ratings Roundup. Now, CNN led all cable news nets with Inauguration Day viewing, averaging 1.9 million viewers for the day. It appears Fox News' core audience just couldn't bear to watch. Discovery has struck Friday night ratings gold with Gold Rush. It just delivered a massive 4.6 million viewers, and that's the highest male demo numbers in all of TV on Friday nights. Now, on the cancellation front, TBS, not very funny in axing frosh comedy Wedding Band. Fox has yanked trouble comedy Ben and Kate from the sked, and they say that B and K will be back. <laughs> they just don't know when. Yeah, sure. And can we get a ruling from HBO about when, down the road, we might be resuming Curb Your Enthusiasm? Will it ever happen? Yeah, we know Larry's off doing his movie Clear History, and even on that score, we can't get any salient info on as to where that is in the critical path. This is truly one of the great mysteries of TV. This is the TVnews.tv, brought to you by American Ingenuity Media, simply the solution for innovative on-air promotion, video marketing, plus internet and social marketing. Visit them at AmericanIngenuityTV.com and on Facebook. Well, let's send you down now to Austin, Texas, where Reyes Entertainment's Gabriel Reyes is standing by with our exclusive Hispanic Media Report. At the recent Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nanotech Entertainment announced that it will launch Que Pasa TV, a new TV channel that airs local Latino community programming, movies, and live event streaming on its Nanofix platform. Nanofix allows content providers to air channels on any number of platforms, including IPTV, set-top boxes such as Roku, online via web browsers, and on Android on iOS mobile devices. Programs will also be available on demand. The Nanofix is cloud-based and allows content providers to update channels without technical or programming staff, thereby cutting the cost of running a TV show. And Univision, the largest Spanish language network in the U.S., has announced that it will launch Univision Agency, an internal advertising and media agency which will create promos for all Univision properties and will also be available for research and creative services for internal and external clients. And if you're a wrestling fan, Mexican superstar Alberto Del Rio just became WWE's heavyweight champion, taking the title from supersized giant Big Show. Now, Del Rio is set to defend his title against Big Show at the upcoming Royal Rumble pay-per-view event coming up this Sunday, January 27th. The Hispanic Media Report is brought to you by Reyes Entertainment, Latino marketing for TV networks and shows. Visit them at ReyesEntertainment.com. Hey, in our next edition of the TV Tarot, 
we are going to have some fun as Prudence Terrio turns the cards on the future of ABC's upcoming competition series, Celebrity Diving. Speaking of Prue, we just cannot ignore her 950 correct prediction batting average. So additionally, you can see her brand new internet TV show of the same title, The TV Tarot, on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Prudence now turns the cards on everything in entertainment, like movies, TV, social media, music, and celebrities. Please like the TV Tarot on Facebook at facebook.com slash TV Tarot. Remember, if you want to get your message in living color and in video to the TV industry, become a sponsor of the TV News.TV. To get started, email us at advertise at the TV News.TV. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it.